Alright guys, um, so welcome once again to Who Would Win, where I talk about two characters and I leave it up to you of who you think would come out on top in a fight like this. And yeah, not letting go of Toffee anytime soon, here's my, uh, here's my next video revolving around him. And of course, it's Who Would Win, so I'm pitting Toffee against somebody, you can see right here, yeah, Toffee versus Wolverine. Yeah, this one's been kind of on my mind for a little bit, and you may be thinking, that's a little oddball, Toffee and Wolverine, or why Wolverine of all characters to pit Toffee against? Well, both of them have healing factors, both of them are quintessentially immortal, both of them are excellent hand-to-hand -hand fighters, and both of them are pretty intelligent. So, let's get in and talk about um, the pros and cons of who would come out on top in this matchup. Now, if you're wondering what version of Toffee I'm going to be using, this is with Toffee with his finger, so his healing factor would probably be more up to par. Um, so yeah, let's just say Toffee in his prime before he got cursed, um, and Wolverine in his prime, of course. And if you're wondering if I'm going to be using Old Man Logan Wolverine, like in the current Marvel comics, no, it's just going to be regular 616 Wolverine. So let's get started. So, as I said before, both Logan and Toffee have an, have excellent healing factors. I mean, hell, for God's sakes, Marco punched a hole through Toffee's chest and he just, it just healed seconds later. Same goes for Wolverine. Whereas, uh, Toffee has taken a punch through the chest by a 14-year-old who knows karate, Logan's kind of taken punches from a lot worse people. Preferably a giant green, a big green giant with anger issues. Yeah, the dude's taken punches from the Hulk, he's taken punches from Thor, he's taken punches from monsters, gods. Yeah, the dude has taken a lot of damage. And much li and just like Toffee, Logan can just easily heal from the uh, from any and all of those wounds at you know that he has uh, taken over the years. Toffee can be the same can be said for Toffee. I mean, I mean, yeah, the dude literally has probably taken a lot of damage, and it's very clear that he, you know, in his prime, Toffee could deal, uh, could be given a lot of, um, take a lot of damage as well. Um, of course, he can't really come, uh, of course, both Logan and, and um, Toffee have their limits. Um, just because they can heal, you know, they can heal really fast, doesn't mean that they can come, you know, that neither Toffee nor Logan can... Um, it, or, you know, they, they're unkillable. I mean, it's, uh, as we all know, Logan currently in the 616 comics are, is dead. He's dead, but, uh, mostly because his healing factor was taken away from him. But even when he had the healing factor, you could still kill him. Toffee is, of course, dead, and he had a healing factor. Um, he had his immortality, so... Yeah, we and uh, but you don't really come back from being having your skin blasted off and all of your organs taken away and then have a giant pillar crush you. You don't really come back from that. So t with the um, like I said, Toffee and and um, Wolverine have a lot of high, have a, the sheer high tolerance for pain. I mean, I'm pretty sure in the fir the first match they're gonna fight. Um, well, Logan just cuts off one of Toffee's arms and he's just like. <laughs> Stay down, bub. And Toffee's just gonna be like, really? Watch. His arm just regrows instantly, and he's just like, ooh, ooh, this is gonna be tough. Now, Toffee, it's very clear that Toffee has had years and years, and it's said in a, bur a book, almost said Burke, book, <laughs> um, it's been said that in the book, in this uh, book that was a, com a companion piece to the show, that Toffee's had centuries of fighting experience, so he's an excellent hand-to-hand -hand fighter. I mean, the dude, we saw him take on Buff Frog, Moon, and Marco all at once and come out on top. I mean, he literally put Moon into the ground. Like, he just shoved her into the dirt and just went, there, there there's your home, new home now. Enjoy it. I just killed your daughter. Bye. <laughs> I know, yes, he didn't kill Star, but at the moment, we all thought he killed her, right? <laughs> anyway. So... Um... Anyway, like I said, Toffee can easily come back from a lot of wounds. I mean, Logan cutting off is going to need to cut off a lot more than arms and legs and his tail, because I'm pretty sure those can all grow back. I'm pretty sure Logan can, you know, no matter where he stabs, uh, Toffee's just going to heal from that. 
However, we don't know if, if, he, if you decapitate Toffee, he can come back from that. We don't know if he can come back from being decapitated. Um, Logan has been... It has been said in, in uh, some comics that you can kill Wolverine by decapitating him, but you can still bring him back if you do it in a certain time frame. Like, if you decapitate him, you have, it, you have like an X amount of time to put his head back on his body, and then the healing factor will stitch it all back together. M give or take a few little pieces of brain damage that'll take a little while to heal from. But yeah, the X amount of time if you decapitate Wolverine to get his head back on his shoulders, and not counting the, you know, the adamantium spine he's, he's got, and adamantium everything, yeah, it's about 8 to 10 minutes that you have that time frame to get his head back on. But yeah. Um, drowning also apparently can kill Wolverine. And anyone else, um, that's how he killed his son Dokken, before Apocalypse brought him back. Um, well, the Apocalypse twins brought him back as one of the four horsemen. But yeah, Toffee, we don't know if you, if, well, how you can kill Wolverine if that pertains to Toffee. We don't know if that pertains the same level, uh, if you cut him off, if you decapitate Toffee, does his head grow back? Can you put his head back on? Um, that's a tough question. And Toffee, like I said, I doubt he's going to just let you do that. He's pretty agile, he can tolerate a lot of pain, but you have to look at Logan's battle experience. Not only has he taken on giant robots he, and, you know, other mutants, he's taken on the Hulk, gods, demons, the devil himself. No, literally. He went to hell, and keep in mind, he didn't have his adamantium, he just had the bone claws, and he actually wounded the- he actually wounded Satan. You know, just to clarify of what Logan's done in his past. But however you look at Toffee, Toffee's the- uh, Toffee's a friggin' interdimensional terrorist. There's no telling what he has killed in his lifetime. There is no telling, um, what that dude has probably killed in his lifetime who or what he's killed. We do know that he slew um, Moon's mother, and that is no easy feat. In fact, that's never been, apparently that's never been done in the history of Muni up until Toffee killed Star's grandmother. That was never thought possible because the one who wields the wand is pretty powerful. So it would stand to reason that, you know, he's got some, you know, experience under his belt. And he's a pretty good swordsman, apparently. So... Got all that included, this is going to be, this would be a super bloody fight. I'm not even joking, guys. This would probably be an incredibly bloody fight. I, it, <laughs> damn. <laughs> Just damn. I can't even, like, there would be blood all over the place. Wolverine's berserker rage going out of control. Just, ugh. There would just, it, it would just be a mess, guys. Total bloody mess. So you guys tell me in the comments below, who do you think would come out on top? in this fight. If you think Wolverine wins, put hashtag Wolverine wins, and list off the reasons why you think Logan would win. However, if you think Toffee would win, put hashtag Toffee wins, and list off the reasons why you think Toffee would be the winner in this fight. Just comment below, let me know, and really curious to see what you guys have to say about this one. Yeah, very curious. But anyway, once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I'm out.